Number 10. Spider-Man X-Men and Arcade Revenge. The first entry on this list is a childhood favorite of mine, Spider-Man and the X-Men in Arcade Revenge. A title that originally released for the Super Nintendo, it was later ported to the Sega Genesis. The game does suffer from issues with balancing difficulty and the size and detail of the character sprites does leave it little to be desired, especially with comparison to other X-Men games, which is why it is so low on this list. However, the game does make up for it with an amazing soundtrack. The fact that it features an obscure comic film that is rarely featured in other media is pretty cool too. Number 9. X-Men Mutant Academy 2 The first fighting game on this Hello, list is the best entry in the series when you compare it to the first Mutant you Academy game me. and I Next Dimension. The game features a robust cast of heroes and villains to pick from including fan favorites such as Wolverine and Magneto. Although not my preferred fighting game, there is a lot of variety with the characters and their fighting styles, making each character feel unique. There are also plenty of super moves for you to learn and master. One place I feel the game does suffer is the music. It gets old pretty quickly in my opinion, which is one reason this game is lower on the list. Number 8. X-Men for the Sega Genesis one of my favorite video games growing up was X-Men for the Sega Genesis. The game features amazing detail when it comes to the graphics and character sprites, which really reflects the comic book it is based on. The music is great and it perfectly suits the levels you are playing through. The game only features four playable X-Men characters, Gambit, Wolverine, Cyclops, and Nightcrawler. Other X-Men characters are featured as assists, such as Storm and Rogue. The game is usually criticized for its high difficulty, which is fueled by uneven level design, especially in the fourth stage, Ahab's Future. Still, if you're a hardcore X-Men fan, you really should give this game a shot. Number 7. X-Men vs. Street Fighter The second crossover featured on this list, this game is a very solid fighting game. It is one of the first games to feature a tag team system. There are 8 playable X-Men and 9 playable Street Fighter characters who all feel and play differently. The backgrounds are detailed and fun to look at. The music and sound effects are top notch. If you are looking for a fighting game that features our favorite mutants, you really can't go wrong here. Number 6. X-Men Legends I remember being super excited for when this game was coming out. An action RPG, it features 15 playable X-Men characters that are unlocked as you progress through the game. In the first stage, you start out as Wolverine, but once you unlock other characters you can play with up to 3 other friends for a 4 player co-op experience. The graphics are great, and the default costumes the characters are wearing are based on the Ultimate X-Men comic book, which was popular at the time of release. The game does suffer from various bugs and glitches, which range from annoying to potentially game breaking. There's also no new game plus which is less than desirable. If you can get past the game's flaws though, you are in for one fun experience. Number 5. X-Men Legends 2 Rise of Apocalypse A sequel to the original Legends, this is a solid entry that fixes some of the issues the first game was played with. Characters are better balanced and all feel viable unlike the first game where some characters were clearly better than others. You also start the game out with nearly the entire roster minus three characters that have to be unlocked. There are now difficulty settings to select from, and you can enjoy New Game Plus once you finish the game. The story features Apocalypse as the main villain, and there are some really neat cutscenes between levels that do a great job in telling the story. The X-Men have to team up with Magneto and the Brotherhood of Mutants to stop him. Unfortunately, the game does suffer from bugs and glitches, maybe even more so than the first game. If you can get past these shortcomings though, you have a solid entry to enjoy with either your family and friends or by yourself. Number 4. X-Men The Arcade Game Based on the part of the X-Men pilot that never took off, X-Men The Arcade Game is a fan favorite for sure. There were two versions of the original arcade cabinet. A 4 player cabinet and a 6 player cabinet which allowed all 6 playable characters to be on the screen at one time. I was fortunate to have played on a 6 player cabinet as a kid. I was so small I needed a stool to stand on. The game features great music and solid sound effects. 
There's also cheesy dialogue which really adds to the charm. Although options are limited for how you can access and play this gem, if you have the opportunity to do so, I would do it. Number 3 X-Men Children of the Atom X-Men Children of the Atom is Capcom's first attempt at making a fighting game based on our merry band of names. The characters look like they were stripped right out of the 90s comic book. The game also features voice talent from the anime series such as Cal Dodd and George Buza. The game has tight controls and some of the best music you'll hear in the video game. A small shortcoming is that there are only 10 playable characters, 6 X-Men and 4 villains. The difficulty can also get out of hand quick, even for those experienced with fighting games. Still. The good outweigh the bad, and if you are an X-Men fan, you shouldn't pass this up. Number 2. X-Men Mutant Apocalypse Not only one of my favorite X-Men Vita games, but also one of my favorite Super Nintendo games. X-Men Mutant Apocalypse is as close to a perfect side-scroller action game one can get based on the X-Men. Essentially based on the blue team version of the team from the 90s, the game features wonderfully detailed sprites, cool sound effects, and amazing music. I even had the title screen theme as my ringtone. No lie. If there is a negative to this game, it is that it can tend to be over too soon. As with a lot of the Capcom games, the game can get a little difficult too, especially when it comes to the final boss. Still, if you're looking for an X-Men game to tide you over until their eventual debut in the MCU, or for X-Men 97 to release, you can't go wrong here. Number 1. X-Men 2 Clone Wars X-Men 2 Clone Wars is the best X-Men Vita game made so far. The game is solid all around. From tight controls, detailed sprites and amazing graphics, great sound effects and a fantastic soundtrack. There are 6 playable X-Men characters, Cyclops, Wolverine, Gambit, Beast, Psylocke, and Nightcrawler. You can also unlock Magneto as a playable character later on. The game features the Phalanx as the main villain, an alien race that is rarely featured outside of the comics. It's a nice change of pace. Not every game needs to feature Apocalypse or Magneto as the main baddie. Two player mode is actually a lot of fun too, unlike how it was handled in X-Men 1 for the Genesis, where it actually made the game more challenging. Some will argue that the game is a little too difficult, I've never really had issues though. With all that said, X-Men 2 Clone Wars is, in my opinion, the best X-Men video game to date. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Please consider dropping a like, subscribing to the channel, or leaving a comment down below. That greatly helps me out. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell if you want to be alerted on future videos coming out. See you in the next video. Take care.